Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. You know, boys and girls, the frontiers of exploration aren't closed today. We often think that they are. But the truth of the matter is there are still many new explorations to be made. Some are through the microscope, some with a satellite exploring the heavens, some with a deep-sea diving bell, and others right here on the good old solid earth. Yes, the surface of the earth still has many places to be explored, some of them exceedingly dangerous and unknown. If you'll join us at Ranger Headquarters you'll find out about a new exploration going on close to Knotty Pine. It's the story, Glacier Cave-In. What good reading in paper today, Bill? Well, the Gazette has a fine write-up on a new cave the archaeologists have discovered. Where is it? Up next to the big slide. You know, the small glacier way up at the northern end of the Shady Mountain Range? Oh, sure, I remember. We were up there one summer when we were on patrol. Sure a tough place to get to. That's right, pal. It's rugged country. Well, how about that? (laughs) Probably become world famous because of this. Say, these scientists are from our own state university. Hmm, How did scientists find Cave Bill? Well, it seems as though they've been watching Big Slide move a large mass of rock for some years. The glacier finally moved it far enough to cause it to avalanche down the mountainside. Then the explorers noticed a small cave opening in one place where the rock had been. <laughs> Just goes to show you, you can't tell when something new will open up. And here it's been close by all the time. Hey, here, let me read it. Well, so what? It's just another one of them there holes in the mountain. Probably won't amount to anything, speak of. Am I not too sure, Stumpy? Yeah, that isn't what it says here in the paper. Now, they've already found some evidence of ancient civilization here in North America dating way back to an early age. That's right, old-timer. Looks like a terrific discovery. Maybe one of the greatest of this day and age. Well, if that's so, Naughty Pine may have many visitors from all over the world. Could be. Hard to realize just how important this could be. Depends on what they actually find in the cave, of course. Well, it won't affect us any. So, I guess no need for us to worry about it. Dr. Swift, I think we make a great discovery. Little did we realize when we went into the small mouth of the cave that it would open into this amazing underground cathedral. That's right, Professor Henderson. And think of the evidence of ancient North American civilization we found. Perhaps there's more in the cave, or caves, as the case may well be now. We haven't any idea how far back this cavern goes. Dr. Swift, this is a miracle of God. He has made this magnificent place over the centuries. And I say, let's forget about God, Professor. You're a brilliant scientist, except for this foolish religious talk. This cave was made from water running through here for thousands of years and washing the soft stone away and leaving these beautiful formations. Beyond that, we know nothing. Let us not argue now, Doctor. Someday I will demonstrate to you that there is a God... But now we have much more important things to do than to argue. You are a young man with lots to learn. You mark my words. Someday God will show himself to you in a real way. Until that time comes, you are right. It is foolishness to argue. Yes. Let's join the rest of the party, Professor. We have months of exploration before us. I can see them just ahead crawling along the floor of the cavern very slowly. Just to make sure it is sound. We will join them, yeah? Yes, at once. Paul, you watch the seismograph carefully. If the glacier moves suddenly, we could be trapped by a rock slide here in the cave. 
Yes, Dr. Swift. I'm keeping a sharp eye on it. And uh, don't move the machine any more than necessary. Now let's get a hundred feet ahead here and then you move it. Set it down and don't move it again until we're another hundred feet ahead. All right, sir. To my mind, there might be serious danger in this cave. It's unknown to us and we don't know its moods and its temperaments. Dr. Swift, can you come here at once? I... I think I have found the skeleton of an early North American man. Ah, good, Professor. I'm coming at once. Watch your step, Doctor. The floor of this cave is treacherous. Where are you, Professor? I'm here, by this overhanging rock, Doctor. This is a whole skeleton and a very good one. We are making great discoveries. I see you now. Say, that looks like a good specimen from here. Let me take a close look at it. What do you think of it? Uh, you were right. This is a perfect specimen of an early North American man. We must prepare this very carefully for shipment. I'll have the men bring a shipping box. It would be best to pack it right away. An excellent idea. We must handle it with utmost care. Yeah, I want the men to bring a packing material for the skeleton we found. Anything wrong? I I don't know, sir. This seismograph either, either isn't working properly, or there's some earth movements close by. See how the needle trembles and keeps shifting? Mm, yeah, you, you're sure it's grounded properly? I'm sure of it, sir. And Dr. Swift checked it with me. I was afraid there might be trouble... The same shifting which uncovered the mouth of the cave could also bring us into great danger. Look, sir. There it goes again. Yeah, yeah. Paul, I, I think we'd better call back all those inside. The big slide is beginning to move fast. There it is again, sir. The earth is shaking. Hey, let's call the men. Men! Come men! Come, come back outside! The mountain is moving! Quickly! Is Dr. Swift with you? He was in there, Professor, but he didn't come with us. But why? The graft is almost shaking with the movements of the mountain. It's dangerous. Well, let's call him again, Paul. Dr. Swift! Dr. Swift! Come out of the cave! Danger! I'll run in and get him. No, 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 you mustn't. It's too dangerous. Dr. Swift! Come on! Dr. Swift! <laughs> We've read these newspapers to pieces, fellas. Guess we'll have to wait for the next edition for more information concerning the cave. Yeah, and how? Boy, this sure is interesting. I wish we could go out there to the big slide and see it. Yeah, it wouldn't be such a good idea now, young fella. There are mighty dangers in there, and I doubt if they'd let us in until they're through discovering everything. It'd be a very tough job to get there, too, in rugged country. Much ice and snow make it worse. I wonder who's calling us. Nothing much doing around about here. Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. Hello, Bill. Uh, this is Todd. Oh, how are you, Todd? Uh, how are things at the university? Ah, lots of excitement. And there's more right now. Hmm? What about? Something wrong? Well, I don't know, Bill. I just got a tremor reading on the seismograph. It seems to be localized into this area. Any special significance about that? Well, I'm wondering about the men in the cave. That tremor could uh, come from a sudden movement of the big slide glacier... If so... Yes, you've got a point there, all right. It's a possibility. All right, that's what I'm thinking. I thought I'd compare notes with you and see if we agreed. Have they any method of communication with them? A radio or code flash or something? Well, Bill, I'm almost certain they don't. Hmm. Say, I think the boys and I will take a look at the new cave right away. Now, will you do that? It'll make me feel better. I'm just plain worried about those fellas. Okay, old boy. We'll go right out and take a look. Just to make sure. In the meantime, let's not sprout any more gray hairs than necessary, huh? <laughs> Thanks a million, Bill. Uh, you've relieved my mind more than you know. Uh, listen, will you contact me as soon as you find out uh, one way or the other? Yes, I'll do that, Todd. Take it easy now. Uh, thanks again, Bill. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bill, did I misunderstand you, or did you say we were going out to the new cave? Yes, pal, we are. Let's get our cold weather gear together, fellas. There may be a rough job ahead. What's the situation, Dr. Anderson? Uh, everyone is safe except Dr. Swift. He's unconscious and his leg is hopelessly caught under the rocks. 
If only he had come away when you sounded a warning call. I can't understand it. The rest of you heard me, so he must have too. Uh, he was probably concentrating so much on our discovery of the skeleton that he did not hear the first warning. Uh, then the whole overhang rock came down on him. And, uh, we've got to get a doctor at once. I'll go for help, Professor. Uh, no, 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 no. You stay with the doctor. Uh, give him all the help you can. I'm used to mountain climbing, Paul. I will go at once and get help. Okay, sir. And, and don't let anyone go deeper into the cave until I come back with help. It's too dangerous. Well, fellas, this looks like the end of the line as far as riding in the truck is concerned. The rest of the way is on foot. Hey, that big peak way off to the southwest is a place, isn't it? Yeah. It's a long, rugged way, pal. Well, let's get out and fix our gear and start. I can leave the truck right here and it won't be in anybody's way. Just can't seem to go another step. But I've got to get help for Swift. I've got to. I can't see very well. The snow has blinded me. Got to keep on. Got to keep on. Get help. Oh, oh. I can't get up. I'm so tired. I must rest. Rest. Pace we've been going. What do you guys think I am? An Iron Man? We'll all wish we were Iron Men before we get through with this trip. Now oh, follow me down the mountain. You can rest going down in the Hey, cave. tell him a heart. There isn't much air. I mean, there isn't much oxygen. Oh, what's the use? Bill sure can get awfully hard of hearing sometimes. Oh, Stumpy, everything normal. Henry complained as usual. Yep. Only can't say I blame him much. Only he forgets one thing. Bill is as tired as the rest of us. But like he says, you can rest going down the mountain on these here marrow stains. Hey, fellas, over here. I wonder what in the world Henry sees now. Did you see that there crazy kid ride the ridge and beat us down by about a mile? Then he went right up the slope for some reason or other. Not very dangerous. Go along edge at high speed. And one slip and be too late. I think he did that just to get ahead of us so he could rest at the top of the slope. It's risky, all right. Henry! Yeah, Bill? Henry, don't you take any more chances like you did coming down the slope. Suppose you'd hit a rock and been thrown over the edge. I was just trying to get ahead of you, Iron Man, so I could rest. Yeah. One slip and you'd have gotten a permanent rest. Now, no more harebrained ski runs for you, young man. That's an order. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. But there was something good that came out of it. Huh? What do you mean? Did you see something we couldn't see? Yeah. Look carefully in the bottom of the valley down there. That dark spot in the snow looks like it could be a man. It is a man, Bill. He looks almost frozen. Kick your skis off, pal, and give me a hand with him. Here, I'll, I'll roll him over. Right. Oh, hey, look at his face. That's the man whose picture we saw in the paper. Right. He's one of the scientists exploring the new cave. Something's wrong at that cave. I'm sure of that now. Here, let's see if we can't revive him enough to have him talk. I get blanket out of pack. Good. Henry, lift his feet. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, there he is. I'll start rubbing his legs and feet. Go ahead and stir up that circulation. Well, you're doing that, young fella. I'll work on one arm. Gray Wolf, you get on the other. Uh, rub toward his heart, mind you. Uh, I do. Good. Meanwhile, I'll unpack my blanket. It's a medicine that should revive him. And Stumpy and Gray Wolf can take him back to town in the hospital. What are we going to do, Bill? We're going on to the cave. Just as soon as we find out what's happened. Look. 
Look at his eyes. Shh. He's trying to talk. Go to cave. Swift. Rocks. Pass out again. What do you think he'd mean, Bill? No, go to cave. Swift. Rocks. Go to cave, I understand. But about swift rocks, I don't. You don't have to put swift and rocks together, young fella. Take them as two words. Huh? Okay. Swift and rocks. I still don't get it. Wait a minute, I do. Isn't there a scientist by the name of Swift in the party of explorers up there? Hey, yeah. Sure there is. That's it. Swift is probably caught in a rock slide. And this fellow was trying to get help. Something, Grey Wolf. You two take this fellow back to the hospital. Henry and I will go up to the cave. Okay, Bill. Any more orders? Yeah. I'll carry our small radio. One of you fellas stay by the truck radio all the time. I'll contact you as soon as we know the story. Now, let's go, pal. Somebody in that cave is in real trouble. That must be the mouth of the cave, Bill. Yeah. Somebody's waving at us, Herbert. Must be one of the men in the party. Save your breath now and keep going. It isn't far. Oh, up here! Keep on pushing, pal. We're almost there. Here, let me give you fellas a hand. You look beat, don't you? I'm all right. Help my young friend here. Let's get inside out of this wind. in in my kit, Dr. Swift. Injection of this will ease the pain in your smashed leg. Thank God. If I could just get a little rest from this pain. Oh, hold your arm still. There. That should help you. Oh, poor fellow's really in a bad way, isn't he, Bill? No wonder. Look at all that rock on top of his leg. What do you think we can do, Bill? Let's walk away a bit and talk about it, huh? Good idea. I'm afraid it's pretty bad, Paul. Follow my light up that pile of rocks that fell on him when the slide occurred. I know. I looked at it a dozen times while I was waiting for you fellas. Some of those rocks must weigh a ton. Yeah, easily. I'd say there were 20 tons of rocks piled up there, and solid as a mountain. I'm going to radio for Dr. Pike, our surgeon in Naughty Pine, to come up here with Stumpy and Grey Wolf. Surgeon? You mean... Yes, Paul. Let's face the truth. The only way we can get Dr. Swift out of here alive is to amputate. Okay, Bill. We bring Dr. Pike, a stretcher, and dog team. Let the dogs pull Doc Pike on the last stretch of the way. I don't want him to be too exhausted when he gets here. All right, Bill. We do right now. Over and out. Uh, Gray Wolf, don't sign off yet. I want you to have Stompy bring a dog team, too. On it, I want you to put a small generator, gasoline type, a hand job. Then also an electric cord with a dozen light sockets, some light bulbs, star drills, and some dynamite. Oh, yes, and two four-pound hammers. Acknowledge. Over and out. Oh, it's strange you want all this. But I bring as you ask. Over and out. <laughs> Good old gray wolf. I guess I did sound crazy. But that's putting it mildly. Well, let's get back into the cave and see how Dr. Swift is. I'm mighty glad Anderson's doing all right. Yeah. You think the death was only a hair's breadth away. Bill, I'm just an old nosy, but... What in the world are you going to do with all that stuff you're having Grey Wolf and Stumpy bring up? Dynamite, star drills, electric light bulbs, and a generator. Man. Just be patient, pal, and you'll see. I have to do some more thinking before I let the general public in on my wild ideas. And I am one of the general public, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, pal, but uh, for the present... Oh, you uh... can't hurt my feelings. I don't mind the weight. Think of it, poor Dr. Swift. He's the guy that'll find the time dragging. Yeah. Especially since my supply of morphine will last only 24 hours.
Bill, I was wondering, did Professor Anderson get back to your headquarters all right to tell you about me? No, sir. We found him collapsed at the bottom of Shady Valley, about ten miles from here on the other side of the mountain. Collapsed? Is he all right now? I'm glad to say he is. Well, I, I thought he got through when you fellas showed up. How did you come to find out about the slide? Well, it was mostly a matter of deduction. You see, Todd called us from the university. He's your associate, I understand. Yes, that, that's right. Well, Todd picked up a localized tremor on the seismograph and wondered if the big slide glacier might have caused it. Then the thought struck us that it might have caused trouble. I told him I'd take a look up here just to ease his mind. And it's a good thing we did come because Professor Anderson never would have made it. Or any of your men, for that matter, I'm afraid. You don't have the right gear for an open trek like that. It was a miracle from God. Anderson was right. How's that, Doctor? Oh, oh, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Just thinking out loud. How much longer do we have to wait? I mean, how soon will the men be here with a surgeon and the equipment? I don't know, sir. I won't venture into any promises. It all depends how the weather holds up and how fast the dogs move. You know, this is such rugged country that we couldn't even use a helicopter. Too many updrafts close to the mountains. All we can do is wait and... Pray that they get through quickly and safely. But they... They will get through, won't they, Bill? Stumpy and Grey Wolf? Mm. Yes, they'll get through. Unless the earth opens up and swallows them. Oh, even then they dig their way out. How's the pain, Dr. Swift? Oh, not so bad now. The morphine helps considerably. Well, that's good. Because I'm going to hold off the next morphine shot as long as possible. Why? Are you running out? Doctor... This is the last one we have. Hey, Come on, Come on, is a terrific dog, Stumpy. How come you're after him so much? It's the only way to work, Doc. He's the best lead dog in this part of the country. But he changes his mind worse than any woman. One minute he's all work, and the next minute he wants to loaf. Got to keep cracking the whip over these rascals. Why, Stumpy? Won't they respond to kinder treatment? Not these fellas. Don't be so innocent. Yeah, those dogs are fighters. You watch them at camp. No time the stakes ten feet apart. Why didn't they chew each other to pieces? Stumpy, there are place ahead before we find Professor Anderson. It's only ten miles to cave now. Bill, have you flipped your lid? What are you doing? Couldn't see under that rock. So why stand on your head to try it? <laughs> I suppose I did look peculiar crawling along the base of this monstrous rock. But now I'm satisfied. Satisfied? With what? I found out something, Henry. What is it? Come on, tell me. Perhaps we won't have to amputate the doctor's leg after all. Say, hey, that's good news. But how do you figure to get him out from under all that rock? Now, wait a minute. First of all, not a word to the doctor. I don't want to get his hopes up too high. I've got to compare notes with Doc Pike and Stumping Grey Wolf, too. Oh, so you were trying to figure some way to move that rock. Yeah. If we can move it... Then the rocks on top of Dr. Swift's leg will roll off, away from him. Those that don't move, maybe we can move with the manpower we'll have available. Boy, oh, that sounds great. How do you plan to move the big rock? Dynamite. Small charges of it. Small charges of dynamite? Mm-hmm. Oh, won't that be dangerous for Dr. Swift? For all of us, as a matter of fact. I don't think so. That's why I want to talk with the fellas when they get here. And I hope it's soon. Real soon. Home in this place, or are you all out to lunch? Bill, I'm sure glad you had us bring the portable gasoline generator. 
putting those night bulbs around. The doctor is helping him immensely. He's getting pretty cold, lying on the cold, damp floor in the cave. Even though I've given him more morphine, he's fairly comfortable now. That's fine, Doc. Now, what do you think of my idea about moving this big key rock? Well, I, I think it's worth a try. If it works, it'll save his leg. I'll try to keep the concussion and jarring down to a minimum. Good. When you're ready to use the dynamite, I'll give him more morphine to cut what pain there might result from the rock's caving on moving on his leg. But, Doc, the way I've got it figured, the rock on his leg shouldn't move at all. Only the rock's on the top. Are we ready now, Bill? I have holes made under key rock and small charges of dynamite in place. Fuse is set. All right. Stand by, men. Okay, let's go. Ready to go. Blow them! <laughs> Hooray! Hey, those rocks on top will move closer to the edge of the cliff, Bill. If we work it right, the other rocks ought to push that key rock over the edge the next time. I so hope so, Henry. Let's make more holes, fellas. The next one should do it. Remaining rock off of Dr. Swift's leg. Come on, man. Lift it. That's it. Lift it. One more. Easy. That's it. A little more. One more lift. We'll take him out. There. I'll take him out. That's it, man. Dr. Swift's a free man. Yes, Bill. Thanks to you, Dr. Swift is a free man. But just now, he doesn't know it. He's lost consciousness. Get the sleds and the stretcher, and we'll head back for town in the hospital. Good to see you smile again, Dr. Swift. You're looking well, too, Professor Anderson. Uh, thank you, Bill. Yes. To you and your rangers, Bill, and to Dr. Pike, I'm deeply grateful. I not only have my leg, but I'll be able to use it again as well as I did before. Yeah. We've got the skeleton, too. Uh, correction, Henry. We got two skeletons from that cave. One, an ancient North American man... And the other, a modern. <laughs> <laughs> and there's something else I found in that cave, Professor. Yeah, what was that? I found God, Dr. Anderson. The God you've talked to me about all these years. Oh, praise oh, the Lord. God. Wonderful. Oh. In those dark hours when I hovered between consciousness and unconsciousness, I looked to Jesus Christ for the first time in my life. And I heard him say, my son, thy sins are forgiven. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... <laughs>